The response of the Israeli military is going to have to be significant in order to gain control of the um, narrative. Having lost control, um, it needs to restore its deterrence, to use that appalling word, um, which is used by Suella Brabman. Uh, first of all, there's there's the fact that the, the shame of the IDF, the security forces in Israel, um, that they were not prepared for this assault. They thought Hezbollah might be threatening the Hamas in Gaza were insignificant. Um, so the incursion into Israel came as a complete surprise. Um, and the border uh, fences which they had were uh, utterly uh, inappropriate and utterly vulnerable. Uh, Hezbollah may yet join this war against Israel and that would uh, that would be an attack on two sides that would be I mean Hezbollah is already sending um, bombs into uh, missiles into northern Israel but no more than usual so Israel's um, response now would be to have to invade Gaza uh, as I say, to restore its deterrence um, otherwise it's a uh, the argument would be that it's a um, it's an invitation to Hezbollah to do the same sort of thing in the north, and this would also be uh, leverage to get back the Israeli hostages, and that um, uh, the the Gaza terrorists, the Hamas terrorists, believe they have enough terrorists now to demand the release of all the people who are held in. Israeli jails, or the, arguably they shouldn't be held in Israeli jails, but you know, we've got to deal with facts as they are rather than talk about the what ifs and what may be. Uh, I think Hamas has made use of the uh, of the appalling stupidity of the Netanyahu government and the change of law that's been going on um, and uh, so they're taking advantage of the disunity in Israel. But the, um, the reality, of course, is that what this is doing is uniting Israel, and particularly uh, uniting is the site of uh, Shani Luk being paraded in the back of a truck, uh, whether she's alive or dead. Uh, the, the idea, I, you know, the 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 idea that an organization can think that's going to actually curry favor that automatically along with the capture of children and elderly women um along with the uh the, the killing of the people who were attending the music festival the the, the abduction um of these people the uh, the um, uh, photography of the group of Israeli men lying on the concrete floor in the dark room with their hands tied behind their backs. All of this, um, the, the bright light shone on them. Uh, the, the, the soldiers dragged out of the smoking tank, forced to lie on the ground, um, one of them then being executed. All of this paints a picture of, a, of an organization which lacks morality in the same way uh, the, the, with the irony is it's the same sort of behavior that we saw from the Wagner Brigade in Ukraine it, it, it doesn't change and that inhumanity that um, ghastliness uh, automatically means um, it 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 uh, it carries no sympathy at all with the wider world community. However, the international public response, international public opinion, which has been s largely sympathetic to Israel, um, I think will quickly turn within days, within weeks, um, especially as Israel 
um, gets engaged in this operation in Gaza. And I think, um, I, I think that's why it's so important to remember this clear moral position. It's not about what has happened to the Palestinians in the past. It's not about um, uh, Hasidic um, eccentrics who support, who don't support the Israeli state. It's about the parade of helpless civilians tortured and held captive and executed in cold blood and filmed and the mirth of the barbarians who are doing this. Uh, and that, that is where the moral judgment is. And we shouldn't forget that. And we shouldn't allow it to be clouded by, oh, there's right on one side, there's right on the... There isn't. There are historical facts which, which, um, w which make it perfectly legitimate to sympathize with the Palestinian plight, which make it perfectly possible to understand the Israeli position. Uh, but the Hamas behavior... Uh, takes this into another dimension where there is a moral absolute in the same way as there was a moral absolute um, in the face of the um, brutalities conducted by the Wagner Brigade and by their um, their friends in the Kremlin forces um, who invaded Ukraine. It changes everything and... Uh, I, I, I said this the other day, and um, and somebody commented and says, "Oh, there's no there's no parallel between um, between uh, Russia and the, the the size of Russia and the size of Gaza." Well, the parallel is about the brutality of the invasion, the brutality of the invasion, and the and the lack of humanity of the people carrying out that invasion. And the the bestiality of executing people in cold blood and filming it and posting that, and um, and and the tr uh, and assuming the tribalism of peoples in the West will respond positively to that, and sometimes they do, pipping their car hooters and driving through London. Sometimes they do, and they are wrong. They're wrong. There are moral absolutes. Not everything is a shade of grey. Um, and it, it's really important. There are shades of grey here, definitely, but not, not when considering the activity of Hamas.